Did you know that Canva has a couple AI writing tools? And these tools can be used to help you with your social media marketing posts. In this video, I'm gonna demonstrate how we use this AI writing tool and how we can bulk create social media marketing posts for all of your marketing efforts using this tool. It's gonna to be a quick demo showing you this advanced feature in Canva to help you create the social media graphics in less time. If you're stumbling across this video for the first time, my name is Lowell Brown. I have a social media marketing agency called Going Social. Here on YouTube, I cover different topics related to digital and social media marketing. I do a lot of videos just like this one with different on-screen demos. So if you wanna get more videos like this one, just click like and subscribe below. But right now, let's get into the demo of Canva and how to create those graphics quickly and easily. So let's start by creating a new document. And let's go over here to documents. Just click on that little tab here. We're going to make a new document and start writing. You'll see here, this is the magic write button. So all you have to do is click on that. If you wanted a heading or something else, you can go there, but we're gonna start with just topics. And we're gonna go into magic right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just like any other AI, like ChatGPT or something like that, we have to tell the AI what we want it to produce. So in this case, I'm gonna ask it to produce five LinkedIn marketing tips. I'm gonna ask for them to be really short and we're then gonna create the social media graphics out of that. So here I'm saying, help me create five LinkedIn marketing tips in less than 50 characters that I can use for social media post graphics. And it created the title for me and then it gave me the five. One, engage your audience with compelling content. Use eye-catching visuals to grab attention. Network with industry leaders for more exposure. Optimize your profile for maximum impact and leverage LinkedIn groups to reach a wider audience. Great, so now I've got these. Okay, so now we've got a, a new blank canvas. I'm gonna look for a template, LinkedIn text post. So what I wanna find is a little template here that we can use. This one's cool because it's got numbers, so we can change that each time. I'm gonna take some of these little elements out, but I think we can do this pretty easily. So let's first update this template. So I've named it. Now, one thing I do want to add is my logo. So let's go down to going social and we've got colors. I've added my colors now for my brand, which is great. How about like that? Ooh, that's actually really cool. So let's try that. And now I did say I wanted my logo on here. So let's go into my brand hub. So let's go into my logos. And I know I had a going social white one. There we go. So we're gonna add this at the bottom here. Okay, just as an example. And this we can do uh, like that. This, oh, it's not a number. I thought that was a number. That's a design. No, it is a number. Let's see if I can edit this. No, nope, it looks like it is an image. Yeah, it's saved as an image. Okay, well, what if I did my own thing here? And this was what color before. We are going to make this very big, right? Goes like that. And this layer to the back. And let's also add Element. See all. I wanted the full name. Looks like I can't get it here. Okay, let's do like this. And I'm gonna take that and make it white. And you see what I'm gonna do here. So you got the LinkedIn, just like that. Make this a little smaller. So we've got our template created for the graphic that we want to use as our LinkedIn post slide. We're going to make about five slides out of this one post using that template. And now what we're going to do is we're going to merge between the automated text that we created, the AI created, and we're going to batch create 
the rest of these graphics using that template I've done. So we're gonna jump back into screen sharing mode and I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Now, if you do like this tip and you do wanna see some more automated tools like this on how to batch create content for social media, I do have another video I created. Just click the link right up here and you can watch that video where I show you another way to batch create your social media post graphics using Canva. But for now, let's go back to screen sharing mode and I'm gonna show you how to use that automated tool right now. Okay, so now we have our actual template of what our social media post slide is gonna look like. What I wanna do now is I could manually copy and paste the text from each one of these back and forth. I wanna show you a way that you can batch create posts. So let's say we had more than five. Let's say we had 20 created. This would take a lot less time if we could batch create them. There is a tool in Canva. You'll either find it under apps, or in my case, I've already produced it. So if you, if you were looking for it, you click on that little apps icon, and then you would see a list of the items here. I've used it before. It's actually right here. It's called bulk create. So all you have to do is click that. And this is going to guide you through the process of manually creating these additional posts by batch creating or importing your text content. One thing to note here is that you could actually do this process in two ways. One way is to create a CSV file from a spreadsheet like a Microsoft Excel, or you could use Google Sheets, and you could create your data in columns using that way. Another way that Canva allows you to do that is by manually importing or, or writing your content in a table within Canva. So we're gonna go back into screen sharing mode. I'm gonna show you how to actually do it manually. We're not gonna upload a CSV. In one of the other tutorials I've created, I do demo how to use a CSV to import. You can go through my Canva playlist to find that video, but for now, let's jump back into screen sharing mode and I'm gonna show you right now how we do that. Let's click on edit data manually. And what we see on screen here is some empty fields. So the first thing I'm gonna do is each one of these columns, if we add more columns, is actually gonna help us link to two objects on our template. So I'm gonna name this one number. I'm gonna add another one. And that one is going to be post copy. And I can just write in here, number one, number two, number three, four, and five. And now here, I did want to paste my data. Now, as I mentioned, I'm doing this with only five items, so I could have done this one at a time. But if I had like 20, 30 posts here, it would be a lot harder for me to do that one by one. So, I would copy and paste this into an Excel spreadsheet. That's my preferred way of doing this. It does make it, in my opinion, a little bit faster, but for the purposes of this demo, I'm just gonna show you how to do it right within Canva all together in one. So now we've got our all our data that we need, and it's created here. We're gonna click Done, and you're gonna see now on the left side here, I've got Number and I've got Post Copy. What we have to do now is we have to connect our data to elements that we want replaced on our design. So I'm quickly just gonna click this. This is the, the number icon. And all you have to look for on your screen, now I'm gonna zoom out here because the object is very big. So you, you have to get to a point where you can see these three dots. So you click on that and then you'll see connect data and then I can choose number. So that's now connected to number. This one again, you go to the three dots you click on that, you click on connect data, and this is gonna be the post copy. So what we can do is we can just click continue here, and what's gonna happen is it's automatically going to create these posts for us. So as you can see, it's showing one and all of these items, two, three, four, and five. We're gonna connect them, and there we go. Look, one, engage your audience, then it's got two, use eye-catching visuals to grab attention, three, and I really like the way that design works with the number, and it's all done for you. So as you can see, this turned out really well. The design worked great. It automatically imported the number data for us. It automatically imported the text for our posts. In this example, I don't even have to touch anything. It all worked out perfectly. So that just shows you that if you've got a good design, 
and you make everything consistent in terms of text, you don't have to move any objects around. So the last step here is that I can take this now and I can export it as the five individual graphics and save it to my computer when I'm ready to make my, that social media post on LinkedIn using this template. All I have to do is upload it from there. Easy peasy. So let's go back to screen sharing mode quickly and I'm just gonna show you that last step and we're done. All right, this turned out great. I've got five pages here, which will each be saved as a separate graphic. And because of the way this was designed, I don't even have to adjust the sizing or the positioning of any of this. It just works out really well in this template. All I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna click share. I'm going to go to download and I've saved it as PNG. The size is fine. And there, I'm done. Now my design, as you can see here, is downloading on the status bar here. It'll be saved to my computer and that's it. That was a really quick demo. I showed you some AI tools in Canva that can help you save time when you're creating some social media graphics. In this example, we used AI writing tools to help us create content for social media posts. Then I used batch create tool within Canva. Once we had designed a template for our posts, use this batch create tool to take all those five posts that we had the AI write and automatically create individual graphics for us. Saved me a lot of time. This was a really quick demo because it all worked out really well, quickly and easily. And I've saved those graphics to my computer. And now all I have to do is go back and do that actual social media post. It was quick and easy. Now I've also got a template I can use for other future graphics. I could modify that graphic a little bit. I could change the color with that color palette switcher. And I've got another set of templates I can use for a future post and it will look different because it's different color palette or I can move different objects around on the screen. I could easily take this and you noticed on the design I had the LinkedIn logo. Well, I could take that and I could put Instagram logo or I could put a YouTube logo and then I could give use that for tips for other social platforms if I wanted to that way as well. Be sure to like and subscribe below. Once you subscribe, anytime I create new videos, new demos like this, you'll get notified that they're out as soon as I make them available. If you have any comments or questions, you've got ideas for future videos that I should record, I'd love your feedback. Leave a comment below and I will answer it right away and again, Love helping you guys. Thank you for watching. My name is Lowell Brown from Going Social. I will see you in the next video.